Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm just going to be doing a Star Wars themed trays. These are birthday cards cut out from my boy's birthday so it's belated for him. So let's see how they turn out. Let's go. So I've already mixed the Jesmini up. Um, I have put slightly more in one so I've got 80 grams of liquid in the black and 71 grams in the red um and i've mixed these up now i am using as much as i think up to the two percent that i need for the color so i want it to be vibrant and i'm mixing the two black and red to go with the cards um that i've cut out as well and then the black because i've boob i have poured more um that will be going in to the separate one which has got grogu in it um to see how that turns out now i've super sped this up and there's a reason for this is my Grogu did not work out and I've had to then take in some of my art skills. So I will show you how I've created this um, with my drawings and my paintings. So you'll see the other side of me. But these worked really well. I didn't use slow it on these. So I did leave it about 25, 30 minutes before demolding. Oh my God. The black and red marble trays were wicked. And the way that I've actually banged the backs for the um, bubbles to be released. Oh my God, I need to do a close-up video, a uh, picture of this actually. It looks like writing. Um, it worked out really well. Now, this didn't work. It ripped. And the reason for this is, is I popped this in the mould two days before I decided to carry out this work. I got distracted and I left it in there because I knew it was a nightmare to be able to cut out. Um, so I left it. Um, and therefore it's sweat inside the mold and it's stuck so these two demolded perfectly and I am absolutely chuffed with these however the oblongy looking tray I've had to sand down the paper um, I didn't want it to go to waste I really didn't so I decided I was going to freehand paint and draw so I put my actual art skills um, to the test here and actually did it now there was a break here in the recording because somebody knocked on the door but it won't be for long and yeah I am super speeding this up because I know um, you guys are here for the Jesmonite side of this most probably um, and if you're here for the first time because it's Star Wars related then please um, give me a thumbs up um, and also as well if you are watching this and you've not subscribed yet please subscribe um, but this is me actually with my watercolours and also I get my acrylic paint out to be able to create this as well it is on a weird angle because this is not at my other desk this is a separate desk and I'm using a separate stand um, but I do start with the layers this is how I've always painted always build up from dark to light um and i just b build up the layers i would normally have done a little bit of a trace in here but there's no way i could trace it um it's already in the mold um so i had to literally go freehand and you know what i was super proud and super happy that i didn't just chuck this away or try something else i kept with it and I wanted to do the Grogu. I wanted to complete this. And I wanted to make sure that my boy had the three pieces. Yeah, okay, it's not the original card. But I'm hoping he likes this a little bit better. Because it is me. It's my painting. And I've. it's not perfect. It's not exactly alike. But you know what? It's. Oh, I just love it. And I am so super, super pleased that I managed to be able to savour this by then painting and doing it. Now, if anyone is thinking of saving maybe a, a favourite birthday card or Mother's Day card or anything, you can do this with Jesmonite. What I would advise, though, is do not leave the card in the mould um, for a few days. Only stick it inside the mould at the point that you're pouring because then it allows it to not sweat and it won't stick. It literally allowed that piece of paper, um, cardboard, to sweat in that mould. Um, I don't think this would have done this if I did this, did it at the same time as the other two Stormtrooper moulds, um, the black and red ones at the beginning. Um, if I'd actually placed this card in this mould at the same time as them, 
I would not be doing this painting now. It would have worked. I just know it would have. Um, it was only because I left it in the day, um, in there two days prior to me actually completing this. So what I did here is I've gone through all the details. I've got my um, copy of the picture on my tablet as well, just to help me with the colours because I can't see it through the mould. Um, and I even go in with this and get my silver decor pen out to give it that extra little bit of character. Um, with the metallics as well, there is a metallic blue in there. I've just showed you on the screen. Sorry, I did. I've, I proper super speeded this up. This was a, a one hour and 20 minutes long video with the pieces in between. So it took me... Um, a total from the drawing to the completed painting um, right to the end um, a total of a, a one, and a, one and a half hours to do but I even put the detail in I use a black lined pen to add some details and what I will do is then seal this with um, resin so it will protect it because it is still paper um, and it will need to be that will need to be protected <laughs> so I will do it with that um but the others I will just protect it with my um protected spray um and that and that will keep that safe but I was so pleased with this please give me a thumbs up if this is something that you absolutely love seeing time time lapses of paintings I'd love to be able to do something different but please remember to please like and subscribe any questions um, I would love your feedback on this. This is the first time I've introduced my painting to this YouTube channel. Um, would you like to see more? But thank you very much for watching. And I hope you really like these. And I will see you next week.